Good morning park managers and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Now a lot of times I get asked to make snow enclosures and I don't usually do it because I have a one when I get asked to do it I'm not actually on a map that has snow and two when it comes to creativity I, I really lack in snow biomes. I made that one map at Christmas time where it was fully in the Nevada map and that's about it when it came to snow. Like the thing I find trouble troubling about it troubling maybe um difficult should i say is that you don't get to mess around with the terrain too much you put dirt down you put sand down it's still going to be snow so i kind of lose that part of creativity and it just seems really odd especially the food and things like this as you can see right now one of the things i usually do would be adding dirt all the way up to the path to show this is where trucks drive so i made this like simple like stone like barrier so the trucks have a sense let's call it uh, where the path is and don't go off the path and get ditched or anything like that a little bit of storytelling to it and you see there tropical plants which are used for feeding your dinosaurs look a little strange so luckily you can do this sort of like fake sauropod feeder by doing this but if you're in challenge mode then you're just gonna have to put up with tropical plants in the snow then it just looks really strange to be honest and then you gotta do like a little bit more work with vegetation and things like this to sort of make it look right especially when the herbivores if you're doing a herbivore enclosure that is they uh, need that substance a lot of time when i'm in snow maps i literally just do carnivores because it looks all right you got the feeder you can place down and things like this if you're on new gen console or on pc then you'll have access to all the different like plants and rocks from across the different biomes which is really handy because i like using the molter rocks in snow biomes because it kind of looks like they are already snowed on and covered in snow so it kind of fits in with the snow vibe which i really do like and usually when i'm making arctic maps i'll do that as you see right now with the vegetation it was a quick little clip there but obviously the plants like i said they stick out so for the stegosaurus that have been added in this enclosure there's two ways of doing it this one right here where i hide the plants within a thick like push of like bush plants that you put down separately that fit in the rest of the environment and then the other one i put down that is it, i think it's called a generator shed now i know when it gets winter and it's cold you can heat up the soil to keep those plants alive and keep the roots well and not get frostbite so or frost damage should i say and um that's basically what I'm doing then. It's like a storytelling, and that building there is heating up the ground so those plants stay alive so the stegosauruses have some food. And again, like I said, it looks really weird. So, yeah, just do as if you were. I actually do prefer doing where you hide it in the actual like, pine trees of this map. It takes a little bit longer, but it ends up paying off, and you can barely see them only if you're really staring into it. But here we are, the sauropod feeders look amazing. Like, it's just nice, it's simple, kind of fits in, has a bit of realism in a kind of sense that it's not going to be growing these tropical nut plants everywhere, and it looks great. But yeah, that is how I make a herbivore winter enclosure or snow enclosure whatever you'd like to call it and this is all, like all the reasons before why i don't usually do herbivore winter enclosures or do snow enclosures that often but anyways i hope this has helped you in any kind of way and giving you some inspiration with your builds it's a really nice simple quick and large enclosure to do especially if you want sauropods and various other creatures in there but thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.